Sean from Ace Appliance in Toledo, Ohio. Welcome back to another in-home diagnostic video brought to you by Appliancevideo.com. Okay, we have a speed clean washer. The complaint is that the unit will just fill and only drain. It won't agitate or spin. So what I'm going to do is just put it into a spin cycle, check for operation, and uh, we'll go from there. So I have it set up for a spin cycle. I'm just going to pull the knob out. And obviously it's in the spin cycle there. And what I'm going to do now is just, just open up the lid and see if I can see for uh, if the unit's been doing what it should do. Okay, so I'm just going to open up the lid. And obviously we can see that the unit has been is moving. Uh, we'll do it again just to show you a little bit. So we see the tub is at least moving, so we know that the drive system is still functioning. Okay, I just went ahead and turned the unit on. Uh, just let it fill up, just to see if the unit will agitate. And then uh, we, we'll go from there. Okay, and while we wait for the unit to fill, I'm just gonna remove the front panel. Uh, at the bottom of the panel, there are two 516 screws. I've already removed the left one. I'm just gonna remove the right. Now with that screw removed, now I can uh, remove the front panel entirely. Okay, so I can just gr grab the panel now with those screws, tilt it forward, and then we'll come out. And now we have access to the inside of the machine. Um, and then I can inspect that to make sure everything is okay there. Okay, the unit is filled up with water at this point. I close the lid. I've already made sure that everything moves freely, which it does. We can just hear that the motor is just sitting there and humming at us. So what I'm going to do is just I'm going to check for my voltage, see if we have a timer issue or a motor issue. Okay, so I've isolated the wires going to the motor. And as you can see, I have my 120 volts going to it, which uh, means that we have a damaged motor. So I will get the estimate together and we'll go from there. So I'm just going to reassemble the unit in the opposite in which I took it apart. Thank you for watching another quality in-home diagnostic video brought to you by appliancevideo.com.